And now we head to Connecticut and the second defamation trial of conspiracy theorist Alex Jones after already being found liable for falsely claiming the 2012 Sandy Hook school massacre was a hoax. A jury will now decide how much Jones owes eight families and a first responder. Eva Zamaris from our affiliate WTNH joins us live in Waterbury. And Eva, what happened in court today? What did we learn? Nicole, Alex Jones did show up to court today, but he did not testify. He left within a couple of minutes. Now, instead today, the jury did hear from a former FBI agent and cybersecurity expert who shared how Jones stoked fear and anger amongst his followers by claiming the shooting was staged and a ploy by the government to take away people's guns. He says by the audience hearing this over and over again, they started believing that it had to be true, perpetuating these falsehoods. And we know that Jones addressed reporters uh, outside the courthouse. We also know he did not mince words when he was talking about the judge in this case. Let's listen to part of what he said. The judiciary has been weaponized and is on trial here. The judge has found me guilty despite the fact we turned over all the discovery. They didn't have a case. They had to default me. She's now ordered me to not say I'm innocent and ordered me to say that I have not profited from Sandy Hook. That's ordering me to perjure myself. I will not perjure myself. All right, so we heard from Alex Jones there today. Eva, what, how could what he said today potentially impact the trial? Well, Nicole, that will be up to the jury. They'll hear evidence and testimony about the harm the families say that his words caused them. But both Jones and his attorney have called this a show trial and want to silence him. The jury will have to sort through all of this and make a determination on how much he'll have to play the, pay the plaintiffs in this case. All right, Eva Zamaris, thank you so much from, from Waterbury, Connecticut. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.